Okay. Welcome everyone. Uh, we're here on our church site on the day in which our new cross on top of our church is going to be blessed by Bishop Crosby. And then the crane will be lifting it up to place it uh, on top of our church. This is a very special moment, uh, the cross of Jesus Christ uh, that's at the very heart of our church will be a symbol for our whole community. So let's begin this very exciting uh, moment. That's kind of a reminder of the sound of the nails uh, on uh, that famous day back still then. Working. That's good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, we are here for the blessing of the cross which will adorn the new church under the patronage of St. Catherine of Siena, the first part of the church that is finished. <laughs> As we look upon the cross, let us call to mind that on it Christ brought to completion the sacrament of his love for the church. As we bow before the cross, let us remember that in his own blood, Christ has removed all divisions and out of the many nations created one people of God. As we venerate the cross, let us reflect that we are ourselves Christ's disciples and must therefore follow him willingly, taking up our own cross each day. Let us then take part with all of our hearts in this celebration so that we may grasp the mystery of the cross more clearly and experience its power more deeply. Let us pray. Lord, your Son reconciled us to you by suffering on the cross and then returned to you in glory. May your people who raise this cross as a sign of redemption find in it protection and strength. May they shoulder their own crosses in the spirit of the gospel until their journey ends. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so we listen to the words of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that, the, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God, Father all holy, for your boundless love. The tree, once the source of shame and death for humankind, has become the cross of our redemption and life. When his hour had come to return to you in glory, the Lord Jesus, our King, our priest, and our teacher, freely mounted the scaffold of the cross and made it his royal throne, his altar of sacrifice, his pulpit of truth. On the cross, lifted above the earth, he triumphed over our sage old enemy. Clothed in his own blood, he drew all things to himself. On the cross, he opened out his arms and offered you his life, the sacrifice of the new law that gives to the sacraments their saving power. On the cross, he proved what he had prophesied. The grain of wheat must die to bring forth an abundant harvest. Father, we honor this cross as the sign of our redemption. May we reap the harvest of salvation planted in pain by Christ Jesus. May our sins be nailed to his cross, the power of life released, pride conquered, and weakness turned to strength. May the cross be our comfort in trouble, our refuge in the face of danger, and our safeguard on life's journey until you welcome us to our heavenly home. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
There'll be no bishop doing this for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> So let us pray the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, to save the whole human race, you allow your Son to undergo the agony of the cross. Listen kindly to our prayer that we, to who, we who on earth confess the mystery of redemption may in heaven receive the glorious reward won by our Redeemer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to invite you just to come forward and to lay your hands on the cross, a moment of adoration and prayer, offer up whatever, you know, whoever you think of, maybe people who are in their own suffering at this time, members of your family, friends, people you know, people you don't know. Pray for peace in the world, pray for the Ukrainian people. Anyway, whatever you want to pray for, lay it on the, with the hands, your hands on the cross.